Our first story today has some familiar faces in it. When two Canadian institutions with a reputation for quality get together, you end up with some really weird tales. That's what resulted when the Academy Award-winning Atlantis Film Company joined forces with some of the people from SCTV. The marriage of those talents is bringing back familiar faces that have been gone too long from television. Mary Ambrose found out that some of them are busy working in an unlikely spot. Don't worry, Catherine O'Hara and Joe Flaherty, two veterans of Canada's best comedy show, SCTV, have not been reduced to running the cash and stocking the shelves in downtown Toronto. Action. Theresa! Oh! My love funk machine. Yeah, doctor. Oh. The refund counter okay. at this bargain store is only the backdrop for another collaboration. Together, O'Hara and Flaherty have written I'll Die Loving, a half-hour episode in a bizarre anthology called Really Weird Tales. And already, two other episodes, starring John Candy and Martin Short, have been filmed. And the series is created and produced by Joe Flaherty. <laughs> you may know him best as Count Floyd, but in fact, Joe Flaherty has been writing and directing since he first came to Canada in the early 70s. And thanks to his SCTV experience, he has extra appeal for a project like this. I got a scary one for you this week, believe me. What I had to do was deliver stars, um, and being in a sort of a producer capacity. What that's one of the jobs of a producer, I found out, is to deliver people. Um, <clears throat> so I had an association with, obviously, with the SCTV people, um, and and so those three. People, uh, Catherine, uh, Marty Short, and John Candy, were good names. They were, you know, they're they're very good names for selling a show. I mean, getting it on the air and for people to, you know, watch it. So, so I could get backing, financial backing for this thing if I could deliver those people. So, I went to John, Catherine, and uh, Marty and asked them if they'd be interested in doing this kind of thing, uh, kind of a funny uh, Twilight Zone, you know. And and they all said they would. They'd, they'd be interested. And, <clears throat> so then the next step was to write uh, some of them, and the first one I decided to write was with the Catherine, this one. Action. Sir, this is your refund slip. Take this down to the uh, toy department and we'll give you another toy of similar value. Well, I certainly hope so, because that doll put to sleep. It helps to have people that I can just say, you know, John, Catherine, or Marty, you know, okay, now, what do you want to do here? What, do you, what would you think would be funny? And it should, you know, just go do it um also i can think of things that for marty john and Catherine right on the spot that i know they'll make funny yes that they can make work ah! mary joseph <laughs> scared you didn't they <laughs> well i'm back the man of your dreams well what do you think pretty classy yeah a bargain store is a pretty mundane location for the SCTV alumni these days. You're more likely to find them in an exotic place like Jamaica, where Eugene Levy, Andrea Martin, Joe Flaherty, and Rick Moranis filmed Club Paradise. Or New York, where Catherine O'Hara was in Martin Scorsese's movie After Hours. That was last year, but this year she's going to appear in even more exotic company with Jack Nicholson and Meryl Streep in Heartburn. Well, I'd say the SCTV people uh, bring to... Uh, Hollywood, a certain, uh, um, I would say it's a, an ability to get the most out of a script, and especially since we, we do a lot of writing. Um, we could sit down and really take a part and make it work, uh, I would say is well or better than anybody else, uh, you know, in the biz. Um, it's simply a matter of knowing how comedy fits in with other with the rest of, you know, your part fits in with the rest of the characters and, uh, and then how to get the most out of it. That's the bottom line, is to just milk it for everything it's worth. Or should we double date with Sid and Sue? Yes, should we double date? What started as a cult following for an eccentric comedy troupe has become an established audience. Take three. Since its breakup, the SCTV graduates have pursued their individual careers, but there is always that magic whenever they reunite. Would you ask me again tomorrow? We tend to think of ourselves as uh, actors, individual, you know, an actor. Um, people tend to think of us as a group, I think, unfortunately, or, you know, most people. So, but 
so we want to try to work as you know as as, as individual actors as much as possible. But uh, we keep ending up being associated, you know, being doing things as a group. For midday, I'm Mary Ambrose.